We do, and look at them right at the car, Craig, look here. We've got two, ah, uh -uh, don't you touch that car. Two very naughty elephants who are very curious about us. Look at that, we must smell like something. I don't know what we smell like, but two young ladies. Yes, you're all very excited, aren't you? Now again, we are limited to where we move around because we run the risk of disappearing due to the gremlins. But they are so sweet, these elephants. I, it could be the same herd that we saw earlier this morning. It's just a part of them. There's still a whole lot of them around. But they were digging for water. And then there was a little one, like I was saying, it was rolling in the sand and in the mud. And it was getting stuck in the, in the little ditch that the older elephants had dug. There's still some more down here. They're just, I think they're also trying to drink water at the moment. There we go. They look a lot more relaxed. We had the naughty bunch of elephants come past us. You know what it is? I think it is the petrol that they're smelling that they're quite curious about. Because again, I can smell just a little bit of fuel. So I don't know why I'm actually smelling fuel. That's not a good sign. Maybe it's just me. I've got a rag in here that is, I think I doused it in fuel once. Maybe it's just that that's wafting around the car. But they always seem to be quite curious. Every time I've, I've noticed now, every time I smell petrol and the elephants are around, they come right up to the car and investigate. And they are super sensitive to scents like that. You can imagine how, how sort of pungent petrol will smell. But they've moved on. And this lot are hopefully going to come right past us as well. You can see they haven't had much to drink. They've got a little bit of water on their feet, a bit of mud on their trunks, trying to dig underneath all of the sand to get to the nice clean water. But there's a hole that they use that's right, that she's coming right towards. Maybe she's going to stop here and do exactly the same thing, or she's just going to go past us. Oh, there's lots of elephants. Here comes a big girl too. There's another cow just walking straight down here. We've seen them here many, many different times. This is a big elephant now. Here comes another one. See which route they're going to go. But we've had them. We're basically between Central, Inyala Road, North and South Junction down here. We've had many sites. You remember the one day I think I sat here for the entire game drive? And we were watching a whole herd of elephants. They were mud bathing, they were drinking water. It was when we first spotted my new friend, that young elephant cow who had the kink in her tail. You might remember, and she did a dance in front of the car. She also tried to throw a little branch at us. And then, I don't think it's that same herd though. It doesn't look big enough, but I'm, I could be mistaken. This cow that's coming towards us does look like one of the females. I think we've seen her a couple of times. I think I remember seeing her the other afternoon when we had that sighting with the giraffe at the dam. There was one cow that had two very long tusks, but her her right tusk was much longer than her left tusk, and I can see that here. Well, it's difficult for you to spot, of course, because she's hiding behind the Tamburti trees, but she'll hopefully come back around this way. I think she's just paused in the shade, and her, young, her youngster, who's not very young, in fact, is actually having a suckle. Very patient mother. It's amazing how quiet they are. There's not, not a sound barring a few birds and very quiet even when the elephant walks. Here she comes, but now you can see what I'm talking about. You see, look at the size of her. She, like I said, she's a big elephant and she's got those very distinct tusks. Hello, girl. You're going to go the scenic way around. She's coming down. She's going to look for something to drink. But once you start spending so many times with the various herds of elephants that come through you, it's quite easy to pick up on one or two that you're able to tell the difference between. And I really think, I feel like we've just recently seen this cow. Isn't that cute little one? What have you found? It's swinging its trunk. It's playing with a piece of grass every time. Look at that. It swings its trunk forward and back, forward and back and it's hitting a piece of grass. <laughs> so you've got to find ways to keep yourself entertained when you're out in the bush. Now it wasn't swatting flies because it wasn't touching its body. I thought initially maybe there was a fly biting it between its front legs, but it wasn't. I think it was just enjoying the motion of hitting that piece of grass. But if they come around here, it'll be quite nice. They'll drink right next to the car. But we'll see if they, start drinking some more we'll try and find an even better spot james is of course driving around on the big wide open plains in kenya and he has got a group of antelope <laughs> 